God says, why are you stressing so much? Give me your worries. I will take care of you. Stop trying to figure everything out on your own. I am here. I love you. God says he will make a way when everything seems impossible. He will heal, restore, strengthen, and give hope. I love you. God says he has heard your prayer. Don't worry. I am here to help. I love you. God says you may not understand what he is doing for you now, but soon you will have everything. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Philippians 4, 6. Dear God, I want to hug you so tight and tell you how much I miss you. I love you. God says he never caused you pain. He doesn't control your choices. He gave you free will. Talk to him and ask for help. This is your Tuesday morning reminder that God will open doors, block distractions, and renew your mind in the name of Jesus. Amen. God, I need you to breathe. Life can be beautiful, but it can also be messy. I want to praise you when life is great and terrible. I will make you triumph in any situation. God is telling you today that a different story of success, healing, abundant health, prosperity, love, happiness, peace, and great joy will be unfolding very soon. You will be stronger, wiser, and full of life, sharing all your blessings and passing on the wisdom you are receiving. God says he will never abandon you. You are his beautiful creation. He loves you so much. God says you may feel a burden in your heart or feel hopeless. Pray to him. God says he is proud of all your achievements. Pray to him and ask for everything you need and it will be given to you. Have faith. I love you. Thinking too much can kill your peace. Pray, trust, and leave it in my hands. God will suddenly make things right for you. Be ready for incredible changes in your life. God is telling you today that it's time to get excited again. Remember, you are not alone. I am working on your challenges. I have assigned my angels to you. Let go of the stress and trust in me. I have an amazing ending reserved for you. In fact, that's why you need to get excited again, because the happy ending I have for you will shake your world. God, my child, it has been tough, but you have stayed in the battle. I am proud of you. Keep being strong and don't give up. I love you. Jesus said that anyone who believes in him can come and drink. Rivers of living water will flow from their heart. John 7:38 NLT. A prayer to help combat depression. God, it feels like the weight of life is holding me down and I can't move. Help me see beyond this fog of uncertainty and heal the parts of my heart that make it hard to hold on to hope. Open my heart to those you send to help me. God, I will give you the person who is best for your future. Don't give up on what you have prayed for. You are on the right path. 1 John 4.4 4. Relax, there's a time for everything. Don't rush. Stay calm and trust in my timing. I love you. God is telling you today that you will soon tell a different story. A story of how miracles found success, full of inspiration. You will give hope to so many people when they see how much you have overcome and still come out on top. If someone says, I love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. For he who does not love his brother whom he has seen, how can he love God whom he has not seen? And this commandment we have from him, that he who loves God must love his brother also. Or John 4, 20, 21 ESV. God says, I love you. I will never let you down. I take care of what I bless you with affection and love you with all your heart. God says that you may not understand now what I am doing, but later you will understand. A silent prayer, Lord, let every spirit of premature death around me and my loved ones be exposed and destroyed in the name of Jesus. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. Isaiah 53, 5. The fear of the Lord is the foundation of wisdom, as Proverbs 8.13 teaches us. In this path of virtue, 
we reject pride and arrogance, renouncing evil in our words and actions. The evening prayer is an expression of faith, seeking divine protection against negative spiritual influences. Trusting in victory in Christ, we cry out for deliverance and restoration, as Revelation 3.21 reminds us that, overcoming challenges, we can sit with Him on His throne. In our prayers, we avoid empty formulas, recognizing the importance of sincerity. The divine message assures us that, in the face of tribulations, God promises abundant blessings and favor. The exhortation to keep life free from the love of money is a reminder to trust in divine provision, for He will never leave us, as Hebrews 13.5 comforts us. In the pursuit of a new spiritual journey, the confession of sins and sincere prayer are instruments of renewal. By acknowledging our shortcomings, we rely on God's faithfulness to forgive and purify us. Gratitude for divine power guards you, and the plea for guidance in the coming week reflects confidence in divine direction in our lives, as expressed in Ephesians 4.2. The Bible offers words of encouragement and active wisdom. Instead of worries, we are encouraged to pray and give thanks, experiencing a peace that surpasses human understanding. The verse from Mark 11.25 emphasizes the importance of forgiveness, aligning with the vibrancy of the Word of God, capable of penetrating and transforming hearts, as proclaimed in Hebrews 4.12. God, in His infinite goodness, promises to bring healing and health to those who seek Him. His words resonate as a promise of prosperity and security, as He opens doors that no earthly obstacle can close. In challenging times, remember that He is the guiding light, dispelling the darkness from our lives. The Lord instructs us to be strong and courageous, rejecting fear, for His presence is constant on our journey, as revealed in Joshua 1.9. Throughout life, inevitably, we will face changes and challenges beyond our control. However, God assures us that, regardless of the circumstances, we can control our relationship with Him. In the midst of uncertainties, he sees us as strong warriors, loved beyond our choices. Scriptures remind us to trust in Him, as expressed in Psalms 34, 4-7, where the Lord is our protector, surrounding us with His love and delivering us from tribulations. God encourages us to cast all our cares upon Him, promising to walk alongside us and guide our steps. He reserves unexpected blessings for those who persevere in prayer ensuring that even in the darkest moments, His light will shine. Finding God is finding life and favor, a gift that contrasts with those who choose to ignore Him, as warned in Proverbs 8:35, 36 By sharing our struggles with each other and praying with righteousness, we will experience the healing and effective power of prayer, as highlighted in James 5:16. You have asked, and as Matthew 7, verse 7 promises, you will receive. In Numbers 11, verse 23, it is stated that there are no limits to divine power. When we think everything is impossible, that's precisely where God intervenes, opening paths. He asks us to ignore the noise around us, find a moment of tranquility, and listen to His voice, allowing His peace to dwell in us. The promise is clear. Trust, even when you don't understand, for God is in control. No matter what has happened, God assures us that everything is okay. He loves us unconditionally and encourages us to move forward. In moments of error, He doesn't want us to distance ourselves, but rather to draw near to Him. God reminds us to start each day with prayer, ensuring His presence and guidance. He is always by our side, ready to bless every step we take. God encourages us to move forward as blessings are closer than we imagine. He asks us to trust in Him for wisdom, promising to guide our steps. When He grants us a fresh start, the instruction is clear. Let's not repeat old mistakes. The final message, based on Ephesians 6, verse 16, is to rely on divine protection to overcome any challenge. In summary, God loves us, takes care of every aspect of our lives, and directs us towards a path of blessings and renewal. In the name of Jesus, amen.